Today on episode 35 of Audacity to Lead, I'll share with you how to design your solution as you build a platform-based leadership. Inspiring actionable content that helps you get focused, get started, and be impactful. This is Audacity to Lead. Hello and welcome to this episode of Audacity to Lead. My name is Dio Samuel and this is the podcast where I give you the courage and necessary insight to step out and lead with more influence. Of course, if you've been following this series or maybe you're a first-time listener, this series is actually focused on helping you build a platform-based leadership on how you can influence more people from a platform. And this is the... This is the fourth in this series, Platform-Based Leadership, and this particular episode is about how you can design your solution, how you can design your solution. Now, in a couple of previous episodes, I have to let you know that most of these episodes were actually recorded at the same time. I mean, I just woke up one morning and then had a strange teaching unction on me to just teach and teach and teach. And that's a good part of having your own small studio. In fact, my own small studio comprises of just my mic, my mic stand and my laptop. And I actually carry it everywhere I go because who knows, I could just be inspired by an idea anytime. And that's a good part about having a platform because you can actually share your message with the world in the best way fitting way that you can and i want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you to everybody who's been part of this series so far in fact this particular episode is just one of them and what actually inspired this series what actually inspired this series understanding the fact that I started a series like this with my friend, my very good friend, Tara Ene, who we did a couple of episodes together and we ran a series called 11 Essentials of a Great Life Task. And then we ended on the 10th of that series and we couldn't get on the last episode in that series, which is the episode where we we're supposed to get talk about getting on stage, where you can actually stand on the stage and influence people. Now, the good thing is, is I'm actually doing that last episode as this series because that last episode was supposed to be the beginning of a series of other episodes. And because we left it at that time, I said, okay, let me just continue with this episode this time around. And because there was a strange, when I say strange, I mean, it's not every time that you have the feeling that you just want to get behind the mic and just just record and record and you are so full of content at the same time not just that you just want to come and rant and just want to come and just speak (laughs) well i believe you understand what i'm trying to say well this episode i'm actually this episode which is the fourth in the series of platform-based leadership which you can call get on stage is actually talking about designing your solution and the reason why this is what I'm going to be talking about in this episode is because first off, you must understand that if you have to get on a platform, you must understand that apart from going to a platform, choosing your platform, determining what actually makes you choose that platform, the most important part of getting on the platform, even as you build a tribe, you're actually be going to build a tribe around a solution you are offering to people. And that is why this particular episode is focused on helping you design that particular solution that you are going to be taking to your platform. Okay, so this particular episode, I'm actually going to walk you through a... It's actually going to be more of questions. Unlike previous episodes, we actually did a lot of teaching. This particular episode, I'm going to walk you through a couple of questions that are going to help you clarify what you're actually going to get on a platform to do. Because, yes, your story may be very interesting, but of course, it's a story plus a solution that becomes a a message. I think I will have to take that again. A story plus a solution is what becomes a message. Because 
if you actually get on a platform and all you do is just to share your story, how does how will those stories how will they become relevant and engaging and we solve problems for people? That is what you're actually going to be doing in this episode. So I'm going to walk you through three steps, three things to actually do to design your story. And the three of them are actually questions. But first of all, you need to understand that your solution is actually how you would, how, let me say it this way. Your solution is how you would impact the world. Your solution really is how you will be impacting the world. More specifically, it is how you'd provide answers to the challenges people have. So if you don't sit down and actually design the solution that you will be bringing to your platform, you're actually just going to attract a couple of persons. You're actually going to attract just all manner of people. Remember in the previous episode, I actually talked about the kind of the members that will eventually belong to your tribe. Now, if you understand that, the easiest way to attract those people, first with a story, second is with a solution. So, there are three questions I'm going to be asking you in this particular episode. And the first of those questions is this. What problems are you going to be solving for people who come to your platform? What problems are you going to be solving for people who interact with you on your platform? And by that, I'm actually saying that Whatever platform you decide to raise is meant to fill a need that the market has or that an audience has. Whatever platform that you decide to raise is meant to fill a need that a market has, that an audience has. And it actually becomes a niche as you do that because eventually your story plus your solution which is a message, eventually becomes a niche over time as you do what you are meant to do. So first off, you need to sit down right now and say, okay, what problems am I going to solve for people? And when talking about what problems are you going to solve for people, the next question you have to, you have to be very, very clear about that first of all. If you remember when I was talking, when I taught on how to start a podcast, at, on episode 17, I said one of the first things you need to do, even if you are starting a podcast, is what problems are you going to be solving for the people who will listen to your podcast? Because eventually, if you don't solve any problem for people, it's going to be a chatterbox and all people will come to do to listen to will just be somebody who's just chatting his time away. And that's not what you want to do as a leader. So what problems will you be solving for people? You have to be clear about that. And to help you with that, I'm going to be giving you a small PDF that I call my Quick Start Niche Cheat Sheet. And you can download that at episode 34. That is audacitytolead.com forward slash 35. Rather, it's episode 35. Audacitytolead.com forward slash 35. Yep, yeah, that's literally dot com forward slash three five. So if you go to that's literally dot com forward slash three five, you can enter your email and download the quick Nietzsche cheat sheet, which is going to give you the broad three categories of niches that exist and then details on how you can actually get into such niches using smaller niches to tap into the big niche. Now this is what I want you, if you're on my list, if you're on my email list, I'm actually going to send that to you. If you're not on my email list, you might not be able to get it. If you are interested in getting my quick cheat, my quick sheet, Nietzsche cheat sheet. Wow, that is complex to pronounce. A small PDF that actually walks you through the three big niches that exist and then the smaller niches on the big niches. So that you can know how you can actually solve problems for people. Of course, the thing is you actually going through that PDF, you will discover the areas where you can actually step into and provide solutions to people. Then the second pro, the second question I will have to ask you is, what solutions are you going to be offering to people? What solutions are you going to be offering? The, the only challenge here is that I can't determine the solution for you because... If you answer question one, 
what problems are you going to be solving and then what solutions are you going to be solving let's say you want to solve a relationship need let's say you want to be solving a problem that has to do with relationships let's say you want to solve yes okay i want to use a practical idea someone I actually work with your the problem you have found is people don't actually have healthy relationships because they are because they have issues with their emotions so let's say that is the problems you have found what solutions are you going to be offering okay i'm going to be empowering their emotions okay how are you going to be empowering their emotions that's the third question which is how are you going to be providing your solution now let me give you a quick tip when you're actually looking at what solutions are you going to be offering what solutions are you going to be offering now the thing about niches is that a niche is simply a need many people have that you can create something to fill so a niche may not necessarily be something that you create completely a niche is actually a need that many people have that you can create something to fill a practical example or let me even go to the root word of the word niche. The word niche actually comes from a, I think maybe a Latin word that actually means a opening, an opening in a wall. And by that, it means an opening such that, let's say this is a very beautiful wall. Okay, I'm looking at a wall right here in my room, in the studio where I'm actually doing this recording in my small room here in Lagos. And I can see on that wall, on this wall in my room, there's a small opening now, what is a niche? A niche is actually what I can create that can fill that small hole that I'm looking at on the wall right now. Now, once I create that in and then fill that hole, the people who are actually having that need will gravitate towards that thing that I create to fill that need. So, a niche is not necessarily something you create. A niche is actually a need many people have that you can create something to fill. Once you understand this very, very well, it will be far and way more easier for you to actually create products that actually meet problems. For example, let me use podcast for example. Back in, I think it was July, August 2014, that I did a keyword search for the word podcast and I did it and I used locational search in using um, Google Keyword Planner. And one of the things I discovered was at that time, there were about 50 to 100 searches, monthly searches on Google for people from Nigeria who are in Nigeria who are searching or who are searching um, google.com.ng who are searching for the word podcast. So that immediately created an idea in my head that, okay, looks like people actually want to learn about podcasts or they are looking for podcasts to listen to. And actually, recently I did a search on, I did the same keyword planning I think I used a different tool. I think keyword.io or so, or maybe keyword2.io, something like that. I'll include that in the show notes for this episode, episode um, modercitytoolie.com slash 35. Now, once when, when I discovered that, that people are actually looking for the word podcast on Google, I now decided, okay, how can I actually create something to meet that need? And of course, I've been playing on the idea. I've been playing with the idea of doing a podcast training. And so what I did was just to create a simple episode, which I did with episode 17 of this podcast. And I did create a podcast at how to start a podcast in Nigeria plus 20 free tools that you can start with almost immediately. And the good part is that with that episode, a couple of people have actually started their podcast without having to consult with me, without having to actually hire me to coach them. And that's the thing. What I saw was a need that people are having. And funny enough, there were less than 100 people who, are, who were actually searching Google for con- um, podcast-related content so that they can actually... I think it was even how to start a podcast or so. That was the keyword they were using. And so once I de- delivered that, that particular episode alone actually has brought me a lot. When I say a lot, I mean minimum of 300 people who have actually sought my counsel directly. In fact, while I'm recording this episode right now, I just received an email from 
I do not know who he is. I may mean, not have heard of him before, but his name is Victor Arona Francis. And the subject of the email is need for podcasts. And in the email, he's asking me, okay, how can I get the kind of tools you actually use for your podcast? I can assume that this particular guy must have found me either on Google or on Twitter. One of those two. Because once when I discovered that there was a need for people who want to learn about podcasts, I simply did something called positioning. And I'm actually going to tell you about that in forthcoming episodes and actually how you can position your solution to meet needs, urgent needs that people have. Back to the story. After that, I began to teach people about podcasts. Of course, I've always wanted to teach people the things I know. And podcast is just one of them. You remember when I was talking about my story, I said I had started audio-related content I had started developing audio-related content as way back as 2002 when I was playing with audio softwares, music production softwares, and my friend used to come to my house, I'll produce soundtrack, and then they will record, I'll do the mixing, and and then I'll take it out to master it for them to actually have a song of theirs. And then when I was working as a media staff in a church, I was actually the person who was directly handling all the audio recordings for the two straight years that I was working in the church. And as as a church staff, I was the media guy who was directly handling all the audio content. And when we have to do video editing and all that. Now, those are the same experience I brought into podcasting. So that each time I want to do a, an episode, I simply leverage that and then produce a podcast that people can actually listen to and enjoy even when i was using a very bad equipment i was still able to produce something people could listen to now that's the idea so you have to understand that a niche is actually a need many people have or are having or will have that you can actually step into and create something to fill that need now right now if you are looking for anybody to teach you about podcasting here in nigeria in West Africa, most of the references have always been go and meet Dio, go and meet Dio, go and meet Dio somewhere. And that's just it. Imagine yesterday, I was with one of Nigeria's foremost success strategists and we were working together. And in just one day, I was able to create a, his podcast on his site, create everything he needs to have his podcast running, including having his podcast to be submitted to iTunes. And then, all of that, we did that in less than 12 hours. That was because there was a need I saw. Now, if I didn't step into that, in fact, as I speak right now, I'm actually invited to a conference. And I think by the time you'll be listening to this podcast, the, the conference would have passed because I'm actually recording this at stretch. What I'm saying is this. If you have a story, you have a message and you have a solution, you can actually pick it up and turn it into something marketable that people will pay you for. And that is what a niche simply is. You don't have to create something completely that nobody has heard of. It just depends on how you position yourself. And I'm actually going to talk about that in previous, in forthcoming episodes, how you can actually position yourself. And that is where I'm going to talk about delivering your service. How you deliver your solution with star using a particular service. But of course, for now, let's go into how are you going to provide your solution? How are you going to deliver the solution? Now, there's there are a couple of ways to deliver the solution that you have actually come up with. Because eventually your platform is meant to be a result-driven platform. So that when people come listen to you what you read, what you say, they must live with results. And if you want more detail on how to actually create content that actually gets results, you can listen to a previous episode of What That to Lead. I think that should be episode 29. I think that should be episode 29. How to create content that gets results. I'm not very sure, but I'll put it in the... I'll include the link in the show notes for this episode. In fact, every single thing I'm mentioning right now, including the quick 
PDF that you can download. I'm going to include them at audacity2lead.com forward slash 35. So now, let's get into the different solutions that you can actually use to deliver or the different delivery modes that you can actually use to deliver the solutions, the different ways that you can actually deliver the solutions that you are preferring, the solutions you are bringing to your platform. First off is teaching. How do I mean by teaching? You are sharing information. Two is training. You are sharing skills. For example, when I teach people podcasts, I'm actually not teaching. I'm training people on podcasting. And then I also coach people on podcasting. Now, when you are doing coaching, you're actually coaching, you're actually sharing transformation. You're actually taking someone through a transformation. And I actually use coaching techniques for my podcast trainings. Now, third is you can deliver your solution through mentoring. And this is where you share experiences. Fourth, you can deliver your solution through consulting. And here you are sharing your advice. You are actually letting people pick your brain. That's something I have done before. In fact, if you go to audacity.com slash borrow, you discover that that's a consulting page that I set up for those who are actually having challenges with that. And I'm going to talk about that later on. But let's let's continue. Now, another way to deliver your solution is through tutoring, where you're actually sharing guidance. And you can share, you can actually provide solutions by creating, where you actually provide, where you actually share inspiration, specializing, where you are sharing expertise, a particular expertise, speaking, where you're actually sharing content, writing, where you share stories or authoring. You can share, you can provide solutions through counseling. We actually share therapy. Once again, let me go through them. Coaching. Oh, let me start where I started from. The different ways that you can actually deliver your solution. Teaching, training, mentoring, consulting, tutoring, creating, specializing, speaking, writing, counseling, and coaching. Now, how did I learn this? I actually learned it from Kari Obebrona's book. From day job to dream job. Now, you have to be very strategic about the way you are going to deliver your solution, which is why I actually went into details on this. For someone who is going to be doing teaching, you are sharing information. For training, you are sharing skills. For mentoring, you are sharing experience. For in fact, sharing experience has to do with the stories that you've had, if you remember from previous episode. So from tutoring, you are sharing guidance, which is a kind of voice, which could be the shepherd kind of voice that you use to tell your story. From creating, you're actually sharing inspiration. From specializing, you are sharing expertise. From speaking, you are sharing content. From writing, you are sharing stories. And from coaching, you are sharing transformation. Once you are able to determine the particular delivery method that you are going to use, then you have simply designed your solution. Once again, I'm going to walk you through everything I've shared so far. I said, first of all, you have to answer these questions. What problems are you going to be solving? And I said, you can actually tap into the niches that already exist and then even niche it even further. Of course, you can get the PDF that I'm giving away for free. Quick start niche cheat cheat. Wow, this is so difficult to pronounce. <laughs> My quick start niche cheat cheat. You can actually download that at adacitytoolie.com for slash 35. Second question is this. How... What solutions are you going to be providing? Now, you found out the problems they have. What solutions are you going to be providing? Third is, how are you going to be providing the solutions? Which is why I talked about the delivery modes. Now, if you have all of this, I think this is a good way to design your solution. And with this, I'm going to bring this episode to a close. Once again, I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey so far. 
of course in the next episode i'm going to continue with this series platform based leadership and i'm going to tell you a lot of things that are still the style part the the there are a couple of things i still have to share with this platform based leadership i want to say thank you to you please i want to hear from you i really really want to hear from you if you listen to this episode, whatever it is that you take away from this episode, I would like to hear from you. You can leave me a comment at audacity to lead.com forward slash 35. And let me know what you take away from this episode. If you love what you have been hearing over the couple of weeks, please share it with somebody. Just share the link to the podcast with somebody and let somebody come over and hear for him or herself. I believe this is going to be a revolutionary season for us. A revolutionizing time for us also. Because people are going to discover that they can actually take their message, their story, and their solution and turn them into products that people will actually pay for. Once again, thank you so much. Remember, if you have to be successful in today's world, you have to have a compelling message, a marketable product, and a meaningful platform. Once again, I'm Dio Samuel. To get focused, get started, and be impactful.